Hey everyone, it's Matt. Um, it is a little after, or maybe a little before one o'clock, uh, Sunday afternoon, August 13th. Anyway, um, it's been a long weekend for me. I spent a uh, weekend in Waco, Texas, hanging out with some colleagues and some friends. Uh, so I went right after work on Friday, left work a little early. Um, had some libations and good times. So um, I'm going to do my August whiskey of the month. And uh, this one's been out for uh, six or seven months now. I can't remember when this one re was released. February, March? Anyway, I was part of a online tasting of it um, through the Irish Whiskey Society of America, which is pretty cool. And I'm talking about uh, Powers Irish Rye. This is 100% Irish Rye inside this bottle. It's the very first ever 100% Irish Rye, um, which is in itself is a feat because rye farming in Ireland isn't really that common. Um, anymore maybe it used to be but anyway uh, it's distilled uh, non-age statement at the Middleton distillery uh, 43 I think yeah 43.2 percent ABV um, bottles almost gone this is my second bottle of this one and I have another full one in my cabinet this this is good so I want to I want to share some notes with you on the Irish part on the uh, powers Irish rye again 100 percent rye this is nothing nothing like an American rye um, and, and I, I do I outside of if it wasn't for Irish whiskey I would probably pick rye whiskeys as my favorite because I do like a good rye whiskey um, so I was pretty excited for this one um, nice golden color very golden amber um, you might not be able to see but those those kind of stick to the side of the glass um, this was, I think it was matured in two different oak casks. I think first fill and refill American oak casks. So right off the bat, you get a lot of, a lot of oakiness to it on the nose. What I like about this is the orange peel I'm getting out of this. With some dark fruits. And like a dark sugar, like like you take white sugar and you melt it down on the stove and it starts to burn a little bit. That's what I'm getting. It's, re it's a really pleasant nose. Let's launch it. Immediately, as soon as you swallow, that rye pops. Very earthy. Um, also some allspice, some clove. That orange peel is there again, especially as that finish starts coming out. The orange peel is strong, the rye is strong. Some raisins, I think they're. I think I'm getting raisins out of that. Raisins, figs. I can't tell the difference between the two. Now the, the back end of that finish. Some red fruit. The finish is. Finish is really good. Um, the only downside is it doesn't last long enough. Um, it's, it's not that lengthy. Um, but overall, you can tell it's a rye, but it's a little more fruity than an American rye. Um, I, I really like this. I have yet to try this in an old fashioned. You know what? Maybe that's what I'll do today. I'll make an old fashioned and, and use the uh, Powers 100% Irish rye in it. Um, I love old fashions and I try to. I try to concoct and make my own um, old-fashioned recipes, but I have not done the Powers Irish Rye yet. But anyway, um, that's all I got. I just wanted everyone to uh, see this one. If even if you don't like American, your traditional American rye, go out and get this. It's fairly cheap, early to mid thirty-dollar range. 33 something like that 34 somewhere in that area so it's really really affordable um, and even if you don't like it neat or on ice if you like an old-fashioned I'm sure it'll be good in that you know rye whiskey's traditionally good for old-fashioned anyway so highly recommend powers 100% Irish rye uh, just another great whiskey from the powers um, three swallow John's Lane the signature series which they don't make anymore and the gold label. I, I 
never disappointed, ever disappointed by powers. So anyway, man, appreciate you watching me. Uh, if you're if you're in my area of the woods, it's hot as balls out. So try to stay cool.